you fucking diddlers. Galactic Criminal here with some more Batman. Had a lot of fun with the, uh, I guess it was just prologue. The whole fucking almost 30 minutes of playing. We only hit the title screen. I'm excited for more. It's me. Oh yeah, and I, in the last one I thought that Batman Bruce Wayne sounded like Nolan North turns out it's Troy Baker. I was close. <laughs> the guy that played Falcone was, uh, fuck now I forget his name. The guy that played uh, Sully in uh, Uncharted. I knew I recognized his voice, but I couldn't fucking think of what the character's name was from Uncharted. He's the bad man! week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Hey. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With regular entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. So the cops and in on it? Breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. But the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Uh, she was after the D. Politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? The data guy. a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign. Nearly fell off a building for this? We'll put it in the computer. Three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Oakesburg Processing Center. Why would your chair be in the floor? Why wouldn't it just be there? You're not doing backflips. Let's find out what was so important. Fucking dum dum. Chair in the floor, dirt. Well, you're Batman, so unencrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. Brag about it. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. <laughs> Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Yeah, that's definitely Troy Baker. Okay. This is a map of the east side shoreline. What's the fucking point of that? But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. I think your computer's frozen, Batman. It's only at zero percent. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. Either that or he's uploading to YouTube. <laughs> I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Uh, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, <coughs> your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Lies, you want a banger. Why can I not aim? Oh. It's the right stick. Well, fuck off. It wasn't that before. 
Well, I don't give a shit about any of this. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, none of this matters. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just trying to see what's fucking useful here in order to move the fuck on. <sighs> so does that mean I have to go through everything in the fucking codex? Wow, Colophon, looking young, bud. Founder. Oh, I was supposed to fight. <laughs> I guess maybe I wasn't listening and I was supposed to. Okay, so what? What does that mean? Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. We're wasting a whole lot of time not being Batman it. right now. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself, and not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind um, of Um, that's kind of the point. No, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though I hope you change careers someday. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Really gotta press a button to take that? I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. How does Batman not know all this already? Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. <laughs> I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Okay. And that means what exactly? Oswald Cobblepot. Looks thinner than I've ever seen him as the penguin. I mean, other than in, like, the Gotham show. But then he even eventually became the fatty penguin. I'm wondering if uh, in any of these episodes, which there are five of them, we're going to find the Joker. <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> Still not bad, man. Who walks like that? He looks so floaty. Cobble pop hard. Where are you, Oz? Oh, I didn't aim at the thing on the wall. 
sure it was not important. Examine the homeless person. <laughs> Detective work at its best. You're homeless. I've I've just I've detected you are homeless. And I am now detecting fire. I'm cold, because I'm an idiot, and I didn't wear a coat. Cause I'm Batman. <laughs> Great. Great. There's the statue, but statue of whom? Yeah, he just said he's running late. Dum dum. Somebody gonna try and beat me up. That guy's gonna try and beat me up. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> I thought it was on the side of the statue. Not much to look at in the way of graffiti there. Fucking shit. This is... Okay, it's just telling me what it is. Well, it isn't what it used to be. And of course not. Uh... Yeah, I gotta get around to the front of it to notice that it's a statue. That looks more like a penguin. In my opinion. Watch Wallet Cash. This goes through you. Phone, wallet, keys. Phone, wallet, keys. Hey, you heard him, man. You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. What in here? Him. Gentlemen! Oz. <gasps> Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Ooh! Come here! Think that'll do! Aw, oh. oh, didn't hit the button in time! Yeah. Oh. Stay down! Ooh! Yeah. Well, that was a stupid move. You could have accidentally pulled the trigger. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. <laughs> oh, that was violent. This is my park, mine. You hear that? Fuck. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little uh. Hey, how <laughs> good is new? Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make oh, sure... Oh, she going, she going, she That's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Ha! Huh. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. This place is a wreck. It's better off bulldozed. This park <laughs> still matters to me, Bruce. It's all my folks left behind. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. So give him some. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Huh? Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. 
You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself mm -hmm. right at home! That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Yeah! Falcone yeah. made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Ha! Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? Maybe. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Yeah? You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't really think I have a choice. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. The most part, Cheers. like, things just happen anyway. Especially, like, combat. It's gonna happen anyway, I just... It gives me a better score if I hit the button on time. I am interested in how this will go. Okay, time to finish loading. I'm a fan of that version of uh, the Penguin, so far. Giving you kind of a good idea of like his his turn to the to the bad side. Sweet. Hey everybody, look this at my way, asshole here, car. Right here. <laughs> this way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. I can't decide whether morning, I want to be Dent. just a total dick the whole time. Hey Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> I didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here. We break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Yay! Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. He'd like to Bruce? say to ten people. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. Oh, he's so sensitive! You know, when I was uh, nine years old, oh, great. my parents took me to see a movie. Do this a again? Really? Mask. Telling the story again? There's a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending This is like the third time they've told the fucking his parents' dying story. <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. 
Partially my fault. That was the selection I made. <laughs> Fuck it. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Yeah. Am I gonna cry Today, now? On the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Yay! I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. We oh. right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. No, I didn't. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. Yeah. That's all. And a dick. Next question, please. Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Now I'm gonna look bad. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Oh my god! I can't believe it! I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this? Great, How here long we go. has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Ooh, Mr. Wayne, sick Mr. Burn. Wayne, how long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Answer the phone. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are no shit. The we were just texting. I've been trying to reach you. We were just texting. Fuck. <laughs> we need more Batman. I have a feeling we ain't gonna get any Batman <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> I get an achievement for completing the chapter. Really? Uh-oh. They're going through everything. Hey, Apparently, hey, careful. Apparently the source Wait, was not Doc. wrong. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand you're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to? It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain <sighs> with skates on. <sighs> Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Well, fuck it's you too, warrant. then. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I... We have a vested interest to keep things professional, for Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. Nah. 
I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Nope. <laughs> Dickhead broke my shit. Oh, it's mommy and daddy. How much you want to bet? <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, you made me Batman. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Really? The story again? Where's Bruce. the pearls? Oh, that sounded naughty. Bruce! Oh! Bruce? <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Yeah, you did. I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. Yeah, the Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still ha. allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be i mean no one's even done their due diligence on this yet the press saw the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, Ooh. this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Turn it off, Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. <laughs> Bet they do! <laughs> I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this, on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Ha. And find out why he didn't. Because he's Two-Face! Yeah, I think that's about enough. <laughs> I think that's about enough for this episode. I am continuing to have some fun. It's an interesting story folding out here. I do wish there was a little more Batman in this in this part, but it is telltale. There is going to definitely be some more talking and choice making. Hopefully I haven't made the wrong choices so far. So until next time, have yourself a fantastic evening.